2K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Columbus Cup is about to kick off. Delighted to have your company for this final round action. Luke Elvey alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam. And Rich, do you fancy this player's chances? Never easy going to bed with the lead. And they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I got to say, though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going to this final round. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Well, they're obviously playing to a game plan here because I remember they were hit in from this similar spot yesterday. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Going with the eight iron here. That might be one club too many. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hull a long one. Still counts. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. How did that miss? Opportunity to make their par. And down it goes. And after that hole, you're currently leading JT by a couple of shots. Here we are at the second tee. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Well, this should be unpredictable. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, well played. Aren't you an expert in the bunker? Nicely hold and for par. Let's head over to the fourth hole. This is their fifth shot. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by two strokes. Yeah. Opting for the three wood. Get down. That's oh. ah, a little wayward. Air mailed the green with that approach. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. And he needs this to save par. Good looking putt. They've hold it. That's very gutsy. And a nice, tidy save from the greenside bunker. Nice par. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Oh, I hate it when you hook it that bad. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. And here we are with the third shot. That's a good looking shot there. Been a bit of a struggle on the greens. Hopefully he can change it here. This one's looking good. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Great drive. Let's hope that makes it all the way to the surface. Second shot here on the fifth. What 
got an opportunity to make a birdie. That starts off on a good line. Wow, they certainly got out of the right side of bed today. Gotta like it, two in a row, he's feeling it. We have a par five on this one. Such a good opportunity for this player to extend their lead. It is a gettable hole, they need to take advantage. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. They're not a bad shot, that one. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Ooh, looks like about 30 feet, I'd say, to the cup. That was a gallant attempt. Hasn't managed to booty this hole this week. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by a shot after that hole. We have a par three on this one. Opting for the five iron. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. It's on a great line. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Big putt for par coming up. Job done. Let's head to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. This one headed left and not coming back. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. by the hole seven feet to the cup nice stroke and there it is and this is quality play still on top of the leaderboard and the player steps up to this short par four standing on this par four and leading what's the strategy what's going on through their mind attack it or lay back and it's heading to the bunker for sure Time to step into the bunker now. Well, Luke, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. All right, safely out of the bunker and now a chance to make a putt. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Ooh, it's just about three feet away. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Don't know about you, Rich, but I'm getting my palms sweaty in the booth just thinking about this player's position with nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Going with a three wood here. This one might need to get down a little. Getting ready to play their third.
You liked that, didn't you? Putting for birdie. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Now four shots up after that hole. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Okay, phase one complete. Oh, You've got to make a good putt here. Oh, nice looking putt. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. We have a par three on this one. Opting for the six iron. Pretty sure that one's headed left. And this is an extremely long putt. We might even have to hinge on this one. Oh, that's criminal. How do you leave that short? Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. And after that hole, leading Patrick Cantlay now by three strokes. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. That got caught up in a few of the branches. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. Oh, clever play, that. Just get it back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Well, a little off the target with that one. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Seven feet to the cup. Not a bad line, this. That's well hold. Currently in first position. We've arrived at a par four hole. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Good looking shot, this. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Just three feet to the cup. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. Now leading by one shot. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Oh, great swing there. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? And that ball really dug into this bunker. It's, uh, she's deep, boys. She's deep. Well, that was a good strike. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Going with the five iron here. This one might need to sit. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Didn't that look good for a long time? If he makes this, he'll save his par. Well hold. Let's move on. 
And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. You've arrived at a par four. That should find the fairway. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. They say drive for show, putt for dough, but that was plenty of show there. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Just needs this one to kick right. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, so close. Three feet to go here to the hole. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Opting for the three wood. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Oh, my. Talk about dialed in. That thing had eyes for the hole. He hasn't managed to birdie this hole this tournament. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And this player now tees off on their final hole of the event, tied for the lead. Looks like they've sliced this one, Rich. Here we are in the fairway bunker. Can they execute a good shot? That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. Tracking. And in it goes. Victory for our player. What a performance. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week. Filling it up. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.